two years ago, I thought it would be a good idea to buy a keyboard for $1,000. I thought, oh my God, this is gonna be great. I get to show off this fancy keyboard. It's gonna be amazing. Now you might be wondering, what's wrong with you? Why would you buy a keyboard for $1,000? Well, the company that makes these keyboards, KeyCult, is supposed to be the most prestigious keyboard company in the world. These are supposed to be the best keyboards you can possibly get. And not only are they supposedly amazing, they are also nearly impossible to buy. In order to buy this keyboard, I had to sign up for a raffle amongst tens of thousands of people for the opportunity to buy one of 500. So, being lucky enough to win the raffle, I bought this thing and waited. And two years later, it was finally here. Except... It was not what I was hoping for. Look at how great this keyboard is! I spent a thousand dollars and it only types one number at a time! My sh it doesn't work! This video is sponsored by Raid Shadow Legends. Now look, I know this game gets memed a lot, but it's actually a pretty good game. I like playing it to pass the time and having it on a second monitor when I'm doing other things. There are more than 600 champions and thousands of artifacts to collect, making for millions of builds and combinations. There's campaign, PvP, faction wars, and dungeons, and speaking of dungeons, Sylvania, Guardian of the Keep. She actually has a bit of a tragic backstory since she was betrayed by the elves of Aravia, but the loot she drops is just too valuable, so I don't really care. The higher the level you beat her at, the better loot she drops, so be careful. The more you fight her, the stronger she gets. Also, towards the end of this month, there is a jam-packed Halloween lineup, including Halloween-exclusive champions. Be sure to check out the game ASAP for special tournaments against other players and fragment events that help you unlock exclusive content. If you want to get a huge hit start and raid, all you have to do is hit the link in the description or scan the QR code and you'll get an epic hero Chonaru, 200,000 silver, one experience boost, one energy refill, and one ancient shard to summon an awesome champion as soon as you get in-game. All the treasure will be waiting for you right here at the top right corner of the screen and all of these rewards will only be available for new players for the first 30 days. Please download the game and help support the channel and thanks again to Raid Shadow Legends for sponsoring the video. Now, let's get back to the rest of it. Ah, it's finally here! Ah. Oh. Ah. Oh. I don't even, I, I like, I feel like, I feel dirty, like, just even opening it. Is like, do I save the tape? I don't even, where are the gloves at? I probably should be wearing gloves. This isn't just a packing cushion. This is a key cult packing cushion. Okay, so I guess we'll just open this one first. So this, yeah, this is the wrist rest. This just feels heavy. Ooh, okay. Hell yeah. All right, so I'm not really big on wrist rest because normally I like getting keyboards with a low to the ground, low typing angle. If you can already tell, one of my favorite colors is like maroon or burgundy, like a deep red. This one is supposed to match the rest of the keyboard. I'm not sure what this is. This feels really light. Oh my God. Damn. Is this the actual board or is this just the PCB? I think this is just the PCB. Okay, yeah, so. Wait, there are two PCBs here. Wait, what? How come I got two? Oh, wait, no, I remember. I bought two back then because I thought I'm probably gonna break one. <laughs> no, 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 no. All right, so this is the plate. Oh shit, this is like a finished brush. This is like got metal brush strokes on it. In case you didn't know already, this is for a TKL board. I really like TKL, but I don't necessarily use it just because it's a little bit too big for FPS games. Looks just like my red dragon. <clears throat> How dare you? This is a thousand dollar keyboard. Don't compare this to some twenty dollar Amazon piece of shit. You sick. This, this is how you know this shit's bougie. It comes with a letter, man. <laughs> Invitation to Hogwarts? It might as well be. Okay, let's check this thing out. Oh, this is so sick. Thank you. As our largest pre-order to date and starting at the height of the COVID-19 pandemic, this number one TKL release was not without its share of challenges and delays. Oh, at least they know it sucked. We sincerely appreciate everyone's patience. I was not patient. 
Everyone's patience, enthusiasm, and understanding as we worked with our manufacturing partners. Blah, blah, blah. All the best. Zach, George, and the Key Cult team. That's really f***ing sweet of them. <laughs> oh my god! This is so heavy! I'm not even kidding. You could- you could definitely kill someone with this. What did he say? <laughs> Oh my. Holy shit. This has got like Iron Man vibes, dude. Look at this thing. I feel bad not holding this with gloves, but I'll get a microfiber towel and wipe it all down. Jesus Christ. It's got a brass and burgundy feel. If you look right here at the top, let's see, focus. Wow, that's so clean. Yeah, there it is. You see the Key Cult logo? So if you look at the front, even in here it says Key Cult number one, TKL revision two, designed in Raleigh, North Carolina. Yo, this thing is nice. Please work properly. And so normally what you're supposed to do when you're building a keyboard is take the PCB, plug it in, a pair of tweezers and the appropriate software by touching each of the pads where the switches will go. You'll find out if the board unfortunately arrived dead or if there are parts of it that don't work. Now, I spent a thousand dollars on this keyboard and waited two years for this keyboard. There's no way this one's defective, right? Okay. Enter and backspace are the only two that don't work. My assumption is I didn't solder them. I did solder them. So I have to figure out what's wrong with the backspace key. Time to desolder Pepe laughing. Listen, 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 listen. It's not f yet, okay? I just have to figure out what's wrong with backspace. But enter I never even did. So we're we're still we're still okay. I believe I have a bad switch where the enter key is. If it is a bad switch, then I'm gonna have to bust out the vibrator and make sure to get it out, which is really gonna suck. Okay, the enter key works, but the backspace key doesn't, which sucks. Plug it in right now and try testing it. Well, that's concerning. Why is nothing being recognized now? Okay, nothing is working on this thing now, which is confusing me. Oh, there we go. So on the backspace, these two soldered ones aren't working, but these two work and these two pinholes work. But with this format, the only hole that's gonna work is for this. Isn't isn't there a way to get these pads to work with over here? Isn't there a way to do that? A jumper wire? Oh, uh, USB cable, just cable can be used. So you're saying literally any cable I have in my house right now, what I would do is I would just need two separate pieces of it, solder it onto here and then solder it onto here and that's it, that would work. Literally any cable around the house. All right. Kit, let's do this. I've always said I hated Apple products, but I just feel like I'm taking it to a whole new level right now. Imagine relying on Twitch chat at a time like this. I know. Imagine. I know. I know. It's, it's not my ideal situation. Electricity 101. Listen, man. Nevada was ranked 50th in education when I graduated. I don't know anything about electricity at all. So I need to remove the white shield and I need to remove the protective layer, which looks silver. And then I'll have four cables inside and I can use any of those cables to solder from the broken pads to the working pads, correct? Cut the wire first. The red one or the blue one? Okay, what about, so this. Is this fine? I can just cut this in half and use this, right? I don't know, man. I'm just gonna, I'm gonna try it. Okay, so this one's done. It looks like a mini dumbbell. All of the cables are sticking to the solder. I got my two little dumbbells. Just to double check. Yes, okay, so the pad, so the pads next to where backspace should be work. It's gonna go like this, and this one at the bottom is gonna make another little U. Okay. Tape it down. How many f***ing materials do I need to build this keyboard? Come on, now time to play the fun game called Where Did I Start the Tape? I right, honestly, this needs- this needs a close-up just so you guys can see how f***ing atrocious this is. 
Hey, remember how you said you wanted to get a close-up? Way to cover the entire screen with your hand. So normally when you're soldering something, it is supposed to look clean and simple like this. And after mutilating my iPhone charger, mine looked a little bit like an intestinal worm. So with my technique being the absolute worst I think I've ever seen ever, there's just no way that it was gonna work. Okay, it might work now. It might work. There's no way this fucking works. I feel like I butchered that shit so bad. Oh! Oh, it works! It was so ugly, but it works! Oh my god! My first bridge! Oh my god, I did it! Holy shit! Chat saved the day. You are welcome, by the way. Bro, I gotta be honest, I did not have faith in you guys. I thought you were making shit up. I thought you guys were full of shit. Oh my god, we're actually close to being done now. That backspace thing set us back so long. Okay, let me get the case up here. Oh my god, I can't... It's so heavy. Oh, it's like impossible to get back in there. Just... Ah! Wow. Damn, doesn't look bad. Oh. Hmm. So this isn't part of the song? I think I found the problem. You guys like the number four? But why the number four? Do other numbers work? Just hear. I, I just at least let me hear what it sounds like. Just, 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 just let me hear the sound. You'll never forget to plant the spike now. <laughs> Shut up. What the fuck? It's so pingy. What happened over here? The most cursed key call, bro. I. <sighs> Oh, that's great. You see earlier, it was doing four, but it's upgraded now. It surpassed its previous form. Now instead of four, now it's now instead of four, it types four, oh, three? Oh, no, it's three. Great, Nathan. Look at how great this keyboard is. I spent a thousand dollars, Nathan, and it only types one number at a time. My shit doesn't work. It's the perfect board to land those B hops. I swear to God, Nathan, if I actually, if you live at the same, if you live at the so same sorry house. sorry for your loss. <sighs> On the bright side, that's one less key you have to type manually. I don't even know what to do with this now. I have literally no clue. Oh, let's try something right now. What happens if I plug it in right now like this? Wait, what the f What? Now it works! Hello? It Bro, what the f is wrong with this thing? The case is the nicest part about it. I put it in the case and it won't f***ing work? What do you have, performance anxiety? You get inside and all of a sudden you're no good? What the f***, man? I just want a working keyboard! Please! Time to bust out a different cable? I don't think it's this, because watch, right? If I plug this into... Oh, shit. Is it actually the cable? Oh, good. Okay, good. I just have to throw this away. Whew. So does this... Oh my god. Oh my god, the f***ing key call actually works now. And as it turns out, a broken USB-C cable, as well as the pressure from the back of the case, were the reasons why the key call didn't work. But the good news is, now, my thousand dollar keyboard functions properly and I could not be happier with it. I can definitely see why 
this is priced at what it is. This is going to sound really weird to say, but it is worth it. And I'll be honest, I think I'm going to give it away. But if you want to hear more about that, check out the links in the description uh, and follow my stream. If you want to hear more about why that's going to happen, even though I waited two years to get this, you'll have to go there. But anyways, that is the end of the video. Thank you guys so much for watching. I hope you enjoyed it. I hope you found this video creative, entertaining, or informative in any way, shape, or form. And as always, have a great day.